Hi, this is Janos, it's Real World Audio, and we are continuing our La Grande uh, basic build description. So, uh, now this is where we left off, that it shall have down-firing double slot ports. So basically those double slots are created by the, the side walls of the, of the cabinet, plus the other, so that's one side of the slot and the, that's the outside and the inside of the slot is created by those bottom three layers and the, the slot wall that you attach on top of that. So basically the air moves out here and then comes back in and out, in and out and it does it in both sides. So basically that's another feature of this uh, Lagrande build and if you change that then it's not Lagrande anymore. And the width here where the air can go in and out that's 1.5 centimeters, that's 15 millimeters. So the width between this uh, side wall and between uh, that other wall created by the bottom and the side that space is 15 millimeters and, uh, and actually the way if you construct it like this then it will give an approximate tuning frequency of 40 hertz uh, so it should dig down quite a bit deeper than the uh, Le Petit does which have a tuning frequency using the same modeling software of 48 hertz so you are getting uh, almost like 10 hertz lower reach than what you got with uh, Le Petit. And uh, the other feature how to mount the driver. So you mount the driver either in the front so you can mount it on top of the faceplate from the outside like you regularly mount most drivers or what you see in 99% of commercial speakers but you can also mount it flush with the faceplate so which means that you have to uh, basically create uh, an indentation on the faceplate to, uh, to house the, 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 the I mean on, uh, to house the faceplate of the driver so you have to cut into the baffle of the speaker to make the driver flush. Uh, if this is not clear I will make a, a video on that but uh, I have not prepared that yet so I'm going to show that in a video to make it clear if, if, if that's not something obvious. Another thing that you can do besides mounting it from the front or mounting it flush with the baffle is you can mount it from the back but in that case you must not just drill a straight hole onto the front it must be beveled at least with a 45 degree angle so if you just have a, a cut a hole like that, that's like a straight wall and you just ground around the corner of it a little bit that's not good that does not meet Lagrange criteria it has to be a nice uh, really open opening so if it gives the visual impression that you cannot see the drivers the drivers are hidden then that's not meeting Lagrange the drivers must be visible uh, fully from uh, any point where you want to listen to them and uh, that's when uh, they become Lagrande. Okay, also there is another choice. So here this was our, our previous choice, you can mount it in the faceplate uh, on those three methods that, that I described or you can mount instead on the top if you want to. You can try it out and, and that also can be called Lagrande. And in that case, uh, the driver is not here, but on the top and firing up. So you will be using it as a fully omnidirectional loudspeaker. So what's the difference between them? If you mount it to face you on the front, it will be a more intense sound. So if you are 
particularly uh, sensitive uh, for, for high frequencies, if you go to a live concert that is unamplified and you have violins there and, or trumpets and, and they really hurt your ears, then mount it on the top. And if you uh, are comfortable with that or if you love that extension, mount it so the driver faces you. And uh, so that's my recommendation on that. So, when you mount it on the top, then the driver's center, the center of the driver should be at the center of the top panel. And of course, the driver must be the Fostex FF125WK to call it La Grande. I encourage everyone to try out other drivers. If you already have preferences, uh, then use them by any means. Uh, many uh, four to five inch drivers will be suitable for this cabinet. You can try them out, uh, but it will not be Lagrande, it will be something different. Maybe you will be more happy with it, maybe less happy. It's only you who can find it out by trying it out and comparing the two in your cabinet. Also, if you mount it facing you, then this is how you mount it. So you, and when, and when you mount it, when I say directions to mount, I always mean where the center of the driver shall fall. So when you find these directions, how to mount drivers, it's never about the, the, the edge of the basket, but it's always referring to the center because there's no straight edge of the basket. If you look at the driver, the edge is curved. So, so it's very hard to give any, any approximation how to mount when you, you try to draw the, the edge, of the, uh, edge of the driver. It's, it's not, not working. It's always center of the uh, driver. And, and, the, and you will be easily be able to do that just by drilling. Uh, a hole, a pilot hole at that exact point on the front baffle and then you can use that pilot hole to create the opening for the driver. So basically that pilot hole will fall to 17.3 cm from one of the insides which is also 17.3 from the other side, exact center and 17.3 cm from the top as well equidistant from all three sides. Why? Many of you have been asking about it and suggesting that this is dead wrong. You should have at least this distance from the top different from the ones to the side and I will explain it why. And for those of you who really want to put it to another position, then I would recommend to keep it at the center. If it's not at the center, but you put it to more to one side, then it's not La Grande anymore. But if you want to put like play around plus minus 3.3 centimeters compared to that uh, 17.3 from the top, you can still call it La Grande. Uh, also same driver, F, F, Fostex FF125WK. So basically from the top, anywhere between 14 centimeters to 20.6 centimeters, you can put uh, where you want. My basic recommendation is right here and, uh, and it's up to you where you put it. Uh, I will make a video on why I do this and then uh, I, I will also mention why you could put it somewhere else. What is the benefit and the drawback of each? So here you go. Uh, now the dimensions. So for the internal height, this is defined by the distance between the internal floor of the loudspeaker, which falls here, not at the bottom of the cabinet, but at the bottom where the internal open air is. That this is from the here to there it's 61.6 centimeters. So basically this is from the top of the cabinet to the 
bottom of the cabinet. This, this is the airspace that's resonating in your loudspeaker. This is 61.6 centimeter. So how does it work out for the external height, which is the total height of the loudspeaker, the height of the front baffle, that will be 61.6 centimeters plus the two centimeter width uh, top and the three times two, oh, let's go back, what? no, and the, uh, it gone back already, and the three times two centimeter on the bottom, so when you add together, 61.6 plus 2 plus 6, that's 69.6 centimeter is the total height of La Grande. And this is true for both the basic version and the uh, refined version as well. So, which, what is the internal width from inside to inside? It's 34.6 centimeters. The external width, you add the 2 cm sides to it, it will be 38.6 cm. So this is the size of the front baffle that you put on. It's 38.6 cm wide and it will be 69.6 cm tall. So that's the size of the front baffle. Uh, now, what is the depth? So the internal depth, so now we are looking from the side. So this is the side panel, so if you remove the side panel, this is what we would see from the inside, inside the loudspeaker. From the back of the front panel to the uh, inside to the back, uh, front of the rear panel, it is 20.6 centimeters uh, distance. And um, so basically that's it and, and there is no dampening on the inside of the cabinet, uh, only as needed. So dampening is optional as, as required. So if you notice any kind of boxy sound or hollowness to it, uh, then only then you add dampening. If not, then you are fine. I don't know how, it, it will depend a lot on the materials choice and, um, and if you need to add, then add fur such as sheepskin or other animal fur and you add it there. So you put it on the actual bottom of the inside of the cabinet, so you put it there, uh, three, four millimeter thick felt or even better fur or maybe you can add rabbit fur sheepskin, uh, chinchilla, whatever, and, uh, and it must be on the bottom between the slot walls. You can also make them climb up to the, slide, to the sides of the slot walls, but make sure that they must not touch neither the front nor the rear panels, especially if you put felt, if the fat touches the front and the back, that's going to uh, start collapsing the sound of the speaker. So make sure that you leave a tiny bit of a gap, like a millimeter gap bet uh, between the, the fur or fat and the front and back panels. What else? Nothing more. So, so that's it, that, that concludes the description of uh, La Grande basic build and essentially the, uh, the full build, the refined version, is adding complexity to it, actually uh, adding refinement so that you do not need that fur or fat uh, to, uh, to take more care of uh, internal potential internal resonances and how to shape the, uh, the path of the internal air that goes through the slot ports so we channel more of the acoustic energy into energy exiting the port instead of energy that's being lost as, as resonances across these hard surfaces. Uh, I mean not hard, 
across these straight surfaces because sound does not like straight surfaces but as uh, but straight surfaces are the only ones which are easy to build so if you want to introduce curves into your build you are going to massively increase the amount of time required for the build and that's where we will continue not today probably in a few days it will take me a while to uh, get together the material for that so thank you for tuning in please like subscribe and uh, have an awesome day and have fun building your lagrons or your speakers inspired by lagrons bye bye